Well, hey, y'all. It's Friday again, and it uh, feels like the New Year's flying by already. It's already Friday, and we're, uh, I think today's January the 4th. So I'm excited about this year, you guys. I, I think it's going to be a really good year for, for bass fishing, for multi-species fishing, just for the for the industry in general. There's a lot of, a lot of new excitement, new buzz, uh, with Major League Fishing popping off this year, and just a whole bunch of really cool, innovative stuff going on on YouTube. Um, but hey, I, I'm kind of just rambling at this point because you know it's always early and uh, I've got a couple of pieces to show you and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do this weekend um, on the channel. We're going to do a speed painting spray session which is just basically going to be me painting a big old bass and I'm, if you guys are listening to my voice now and watching this stuff over here on the, on the spray bench or on the finishing desk rather then uh, you know that I've I've previously kind of hinted in a different video that I wanted to do a speed painting thing for you guys because I get requests for it you know I, a lot of you probably know that I, I paint watercolors and do a lot of wildlife and nature um, canvas painting so in addition to doing all of this stuff but let's go through the four pieces um, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way first just as a gag gift um, somebody asked me to paint the ugliest trap I could paint and it's not hideous but it, it has won the ugly sweater award for uh, <laughs> for the month so far and I even kind of I allude to that on the bottom it was the very first bait that I painted in 2019 and it's a whole bunch of fun so this is the ugly sweater award it's a trap um, a little lightweight quarter ounce not even uh, not even three eighths ounce and uh, basically I just take a one that's got the holographic flash on it and sprayed a couple little things over there <laughs> i'm going to see if it's going to catch fish i'm going to take it out to my local community pond which is it's a little bit bigger than a pond it's it's pretty i've caught some decent bass out of there um but we're gonna we're gonna take it out there and test it and have some fun with it and probably shoot a video on this um but this is the ugly sweater for 2019 for january this little guy I, i'm determined to make a good darter pattern. Now this is, you guys can see that that's done on a Rapala. This is on one of those little Rapalas. Um, I think the SR is Shad Rap 7s. And this is a, an Ozark darter, rainbow darter, and they are beautiful forage fish. And you see them more in rivers than you do lakes. But you can see it's, it's, it's um, let me show you what, let me see if I can even find it. Where did it go? So this is a Husky. This isn't the exact same, but this is the color that I started out with. And uh, pretty much just painted over the, uh, or taped over the eyes and taped off the bill and, um, and wrapped it and did a darter pattern. And I'll show you the darter pattern. If you look above here, now you're seeing that darter pattern. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing right. I'm really excited about perfecting this. And it's a cool little pattern. It'll definitely catch fish the way it is. This will run probably six, seven feet deep in a river. You can tell I'm, <laughs> I have got Hank, uh, Hank uh, Parker on in the background. And this, this is a reclaim. Now we're gonna do a couple of separate videos on it. This is a reclaim from, I believe, Bull Shoals. I think that's where she told me. This came um, with some really cool hats from Pole Bender. So thank you for that, but it came uh, as a just a bone blank reclaimed dirty um, no hooks the split rings were kind of rusted on it and she's like hey you paint it and I'll go fish it so we're thinking about doing some collaborative stuff in the works but this is how it turned out it's got that shading kind of give it that 3d image and little crawl pattern now this I think um, I don't know if I mentioned before but uh, I'm doing, I'm probably going to end up doing a little um, spray session on it. I did a mini one as I was painting a good bit of this. Um, it's a fun little bait. I really, it's, I called it the Rusty Craw. It's also a 2019 bait. Um, but I think this probably was used, it looks like something that you would troll walleye with. But she's going to take it out in the boat, fish it, probably somewhere around Bull Shoals and uh just fun this was fun to do so uh, really good trade uh, a good paint job for some cool swag from her channel and i'll link her channel down below it's pole bender she's best known for catching mondo catfish 
And uh, I tell you what, folks, if, if you haven't watched her channel, she can catch them. And her dogs are awesome. Um, she always she always puts her dogs in the videos with her. Well, she she travels with the dogs, so they go where she goes, and it's it's kind of awesome watching her journey on YouTube. Um, so go check her out. Pole Bender is a, a great channel, and it's multi species as well. It's not just catfish, but uh, fishes from Texas to Arkansas. This this area. This is the plum bass. It's got those jets and eyes. It is almost completely transparent. Now, one of the things that, if you guys are just getting into airbrushing and you're not uh, familiar with what a good coat, a clear coat will do, is if this were just a, a blank and it looks a little bit hazy, um, clear coat will take care of that, knock that out. It, uh, you, can, you can definitely see what this bait is made of for sure. So this is a plum bass. It's got those jets and eyes. It's got a little bit of lighter shading. And then we've got that plum into um, a little bit of sepia and mustard yellow. Left the bottom completely clear, except for that flush on the chest and the throat. Got a little bass pattern on there and some gold glitter. So that is what I got for you today for our shop update and just to show you what's going on over here real quick on this bass. We have got it completely whited out. This is what you would call the base coat on this and I've put in some of the preliminary patterns that we're going to spray. This is going to be 100% airbrush and then we're going to clear coat it. Um, but we're not going to clear coat it with KBS because that's way too expensive. Um, we're going to just do like an acry uh, acrylic clear spray because that'll be fine for the finish. And then we're going to hang it up right there. So y'all stay tuned for that. You guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy the weekend. It's, uh, it's playoff season. And um, sorry, boys. Go Clemson. <laughs> we'll see ya. Bye.